Hey, Jordan. Oh, that's What's going on? Not I'm much. Good. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're hi, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thanks for hopping on with us today. Um, yeah, of course. We wanted to, we're, we're reaching out to people we know locally and want just to say hi. Haven't seen you in a really long time. Miss your food. I know, it's been yeah, a while. Yeah, we miss your food. Uh, so, <laughs> like, tell uh -oh. people about your, your company and, you know, what you do. And we, uh, you know, we use you, uh, your your food and your company. We order it, and uh, we love it at the spa because it's so easy for us. Uh, and we can talk about that as we get into it. But why don't you let people know, uh, you know, who you are and what your company is? Sure. Um, it's lagging on my end a little bit. Hopefully, it's okay on your end. Uh, as long oh, as. No, you're great. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I run a healthy meal delivery company, Fit AF. Uh, we do healthy meal delivery, like I just said, as well as online nutrition coaching. Um, stationed in the greater Northeast Pennsylvania area. Uh, so that's the general gist of it. Uh, in terms of what's going on now, um, we are uh, still uh, in business, uh, thankfully, which I'm very grateful for. Um, uh, slowed down a little bit. I mean, it, it is like we, uh, you know, a lot of people use this as a convenience tool uh, while some people use this because they're trying to lose weight or uh, just wanting to eat healthy. I mean, sometimes it's just, hey, people want their food ready to go for the week. And now people are spending a lot of time at home. So that, you know, need is no longer there. Um, so we've noticed a little fluctuation with the whole uh, thing going on. But Mm -hmm. uh, but still, it is what it is, and um, I'm trying to take this time to work on things that I couldn't before because, you know, uh, when you're running and there's uh, a bunch of things going on, it's hard to work yeah. on the things that don't require your immediate attention. Um, so now it's like, whoa, like, look at all this time that um, I have to do, you know, to do fun stuff, and uh, we're playing with uh, a bunch of different things, some online video and uh, things that I've have always honestly scared the shit out of me. But yeah. now it's like, well, everybody is online, so what can I do? It's not even like a, I, it's more like a value. Like I'm, I've been killing it with Gary V, listening to him all the time, just for the motivation. Yeah. I just need him to tell me, like, you know, get on fucking TikTok and make a video because <laughs> I would yeah. never do that. Yeah, we're not doing that. But are are you listening to his uh, tea with Gary every morning? Yes, I've been enjoying yeah. that. Me too. I'm trying to get on with him, but I haven't had success yet. It's impossible. Yeah, <laughs> he uh, he's awesome. I mean, and he's very. It's awesome that he's so well known now. But like, he's. Uh, I keep coming back to him, and sometimes I'll go a few months without really watching him or anything. And then when I come back to him, I'm like, yeah, like this is what I needed. Like, uh, I mean. Part of it's motivation, but part of it is some strategy of like, okay, here's what you do on LinkedIn, for example. I just made a LinkedIn account, um, trying to uh, broaden the horizon there. Yes, um, yeah, it, I, I agree. He gives you a lot of strategies that you don't, you don't even know exist. Right. And sometimes you do, but you're like, oh, I don't know if I really want to do that. But it makes sense because some of the things that he says you should do, it, you're like, yeah, I guess, I guess you need to, you gotta stop worrying about what other people might think. He said, you're gonna get a thousand no's to get to that, to get yes, right. you have to do. So that's, uh, yeah. we find him inspiring. And he, he's an amazing guy in person. We, we met him, him, yeah. Yeah, I remember you told me that. You went to a uh, dinner or something with him? Uh, he had a, it was a launch for his, one of his new wines that he, he was coming okay. so we met him and we saw it was like a big party in new york city but um he took time he probably mm -hmm. spent two hours talking to people everybody it was awesome uh, it was it was pretty cool experience yeah give him strategies. he's doing a uh if you you have his wine he's doing a and i don't know what he's calling it but i think it's april 7th wine with like him and his dad virtually so they'll probably really? talk about stuff yes we're going to get you a bottle, Jordan. You should try it. Yeah. You're a red, white, or rosé fan. <laughs> uh, it's uh, I, I, uh, red, but it's okay. been a few years no. since I've drank it. <laughs> um, maybe I'll make an exception. There you uh, go. Hopefully my mom's not yeah. watching this. Um, so back but, to you. Back to you. Um, uh, it's pretty much it. Just I, And I think it's, 
you know, it's easy. So, and uh, I will say it again, we're still in business. So it's easy for me to be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm taking the lemons and making lemonade. But in reality, like I know, like it, it could be worse. And like, there's some people that are really freaking struggling. And as much as I want to, you know, talk to them and be like, you know, this is a good time to do it. A thousand other things like, uh, it's obviously not ideal, but you can strengthen other areas in your business to, um, so that when things get back to normal, whatever that's going to look like, um, you know, you're thriving and you could even thrive in this time. But again, you know, look like we're not as affected as other people. So I try to stay in my lane and, um, just focus on what we can be doing. We're trying to do a lot of, um, uh, donations and different events where we're giving food to students who are out of school and uh, donating a lot of food to the hospitals just for all the healthcare workers because they're That's absolutely nice. like insane. I can't even imagine uh, being uh, in a hospital right now working. I mean, it's just they're they're saving a shitload of lives right now, and yeah. if it wasn't for them, we'd all be screwed. Yeah. Right. It's terrifying. Well, that's nice yeah. of you to do that work. And, um, yeah. I, well, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, you were saying making lemons out of lemonade. Well, that, I don't know if you saw some of our pictures, but Chris started making mobile kind of backlit salt walls. Oh and, yeah. And so he's still, he's going to go grab one. <laughs> so, but that, that's one of the things is that what, what can we do? We can't be open and stay busy. So he started making a lot of these, and salt walls. that's a new one he's playing with like different stains and things like that people are loving them so what do you are those for yeah. uh you put a light in they're, front they're of already them. lit yeah they have led lights oh, okay yeah so it's already pretty cool here, lit, here, I'll, hold one. I'll hold one for you this didn't wasn't gonna turn out to be our little gig but you'll see it yeah. but he's making like different sizes and making them out of bricks and or Ooh. yeah so now is that the Himalayan sea salt? It is. It's like a, okay, so similar to like a, a salt lamp that you know, uh, I don't know. I feel like five years ago salt lamps were huge. Right. Yeah. This is the uh, this is the actual wall that's in our salt wall, uh, room. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah, pretty. I'm trying to. Yeah. It's hard to it's hard to see because it it's so. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see. Like, uh, but I have some that, that are uh, remote control, sixteen colors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. So, so that, that's kind of what you were asking, hey, what, what have we done? And that's kind of one of the things we've done to try and pivot a little bit. Are you uh, selling those? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, maybe I'll buy one. Where do you, you sell them online on your store? Uh, not yet, because you know why? Because they're heavy. They're almost impossible to ship. So we have to either arrange like a pick. Uh, we can talk about that after, but yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about that after. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when you're talking about your meals and how, you know, people have more time because they're home and, and that's true. But for us, we felt like, especially when we were open at spa, we would order your meals and maybe you can go over like your programs because you, you have, I think, is it, it's like three different, three different sizes yeah. based on maybe what your activity level is. And then you can get different numbers of meals for that, for that week. So maybe mm -hmm. you can talk about what that is. <laughs> um, yeah. So Weekly, there's 25, 30 ish different menu items. Um, and we're, I'd, I'd remain as dietarily agnostic as possible, meaning we have everything from vegan to uh, keto meals, paleo, dairy free, gluten free, every option. And within those options, multiple meals so that if somebody comes with those requirements um, or preferences, that they could kind of get what works for them. Um, so within those 30 meals, every meal comes in three sizes. Uh, which we call lean signature performance, which is based on how they're portioned. Um, lean, four ounces of a protein, half cup starch, signature, five and a half ounces protein, three quarter cup starch performance, eight ounce, seven ounces protein, full cup starch. It, anyways, uh, that's kind of how, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's, uh, and they're also in, leans tend to be three to 400 calories signature, five to 600. So really it's, whatever your requirements are. But it, I mean, there's people always ask like, what should I get? And it's a really hard question because how many meals do you eat throughout the day? If you have, if your calorie requirements are, you know, 2000 calories, but you only have 
like if you only like eat two meals a day, then you would get the performance meals and you'd still have to supplement a snack or two just because performance meals are only 7,800 calories. Um, if you like to eat eight meals a day, then you would get say a lean meal because your portions are going to be smaller. And mm -hmm. what we know is, I mean, there's no, one is not necessarily better. It seems like three to six meals per day uh, is more ideal. Um, and that comes down to how protein's digested and uh, how it doesn't, uh, it's not really stored. So you want to uh, probably more ideally, especially for if you're looking to build strength or muscle, you want to have those more frequent feedings uh, between three and six. But mm -hmm. as we all know, everyone's got their preferences. Some people eat once a day. I fluctuate, I mean, I, I'm going on a ramp, but I just recently switched to doing some fasting just because I feel personally, uh, anecdotally, I am extremely focused when I don't eat in the morning and I basically wake up and I say, you're not going to eat until you put out <laughs> and I get to work <laughs> and around noonish or whatever I eat once I get, you know, kind of the most important things done for the day. Um, and I love it. I mean, uh, it, anyway, so yeah, so <laughs> back to Fetty F, there's bunch of different options uh we deliver to people's homes um and what's your, what's your uh radius as far as where you deliver do you have like a mile radius from a certain point yeah uh 40 to 50 miles ish from scranton so down toward lehigh valley uh as far as going south um harvey's lake going west holly going east north tonkanaki area i think mm -hmm. Hopefully I got that map right, but that's, um, that's a that's a big area. I didn't realize it yeah. was that far that you you delivered that far. Yeah, um, working toward honestly moving into the Philly area and then kind of figuring out from there once we are in Philly where we want to move, whether it's offering shipping or honestly having multiple locations where we can deliver from. Um, I like hand delivery; it's more personal and friendly, and I I don't. I think people, you know, getting a box shipped to you and you have all this waste. I don't, I don't like the vibe or the feel of that as much as, you know, a bit AF branded truck running down the street with somebody who constantly delivers to you, bringing your meals for the week. I kind of like that vibe better. Right. Um, so that's kind of the direction we're looking in. That's fantastic. And, and we love the delivery system too. I mean, everybody has always been more than kind when they come in you have a really nice bag that they come in and i'll say the the containers that the meals come in mm -hmm. are are really nice and sturdy and well you have a i mean yeah. we we keep them because i keep everything so i can <laughs> use them for other stuff but uh what's important to know too is that when you uh when you order a meal on that container comes basically your like a like a recipe card almost of what you're eating mm -hmm. And I, yeah. it's great. Yeah, the nutrition information's there. Sometimes, I mean, we try to do, when we do pictures of menu items, like have a breakdown of like, this is exactly what you're eating. Here's the protein, like all the raw ingredients. Uh, sometimes we try to limit as much, you know, and not that it's always better, but for the most part, the fewer ingredients tends to be more ideal. Um, now, if you have, you know, a, a vegetable medley and a bunch of different spices and stuff like that, that's not bad. But when you look at, you know, the longer a food label is, the tendency for more crap to be in it, uh, you can argue that in general, a shorter ingredient list uh, tends to be a little better. Mm -hmm. um, right. But we, yeah, that's we love really it. what it. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. I know <laughs> you're, you're good. I, uh, um, I'm a big like uh, health freak maybe as uh, so I don't know there's probably a lighter way to put it uh some people would probably say health freak though but like I don't I don't know I've I gain more um pleasure eating really good quality of food rather than the um uh say the the instant reward of eating crappy food so mm -hmm. and that's kind of like the balance that uh people try to work on right it's that uh, especially if you want to lose weight you're delaying that instant gratification coming from foods that you really enjoy, which uh, can be healthy, but they truthfully tend to be higher in calories, uh, more energy dense and easier to overeat, highly palatable, uh, which is kind of the state 
that we're in uh, part of the obesity epidemic is we have all these really hyper palatable foods, uh, which basically means they're highly rewarding. So foods that are engineered to increase dopamine levels and like you eat it and you're like, holy shit, this Oreo is amazing. I can't stop. Um, and the sur surplus of those foods is, uh, you know, our, our brain circuitry for eating could not keep up. Mm -hmm. So our, what drives us to eat has all these brain circuits are uh, evolutionarily conserved, meaning they haven't changed in thousands of years. And that's because they work so well, but within seemingly the past hundred years, what, you know, the, the degree of effort and the availability of foods has the degree of effort to get food went down extremely. I mean, you could... <laughs> we're in business because we're bringing food to people, uh, but also the availability of food, I mean, is just so, it, there's just so much. And honestly, you throw in like the kind of the mental aspect of things, I mean, where I think our uh, people struggle today more than ever um, for a, a shitload of reasons, which we won't delve into unless we want to. But, uh, you know, people are seeking um, solace and comfort in food. Uh, Probably God, I just want to know because they're stuck at home, you know. Right, yeah, especially right now. And that's, I, I, it's funny you see on social media, like a lot of people are just like, Oh my god, I can't stop eating. And it's true, it's like you're, you're home you and there's food there, it's tough. Um, yeah, it's kind of like that. Like before, it was like that, you know, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. window where people get home from work, and that's where they tend to. I don't want to say binge, but tend to let go a little bit because they kind of use their willpower reserves during the day and then they're home and it's like, oh my God, there's, you know, these chips in the fridge and I could just relax and eat. So, but now that window has gone from that four hours at night to like being all day, especially if people aren't working. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's something to uh, <laughs> We just gotta, watch. We gotta get people exercising that time that they're yeah. supposed to be working or just take an hour out of the day. And that'll actually take your, your hunger pains and get that boredom away from 40, you know, boredom eating. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Actually, uh, safe, you won't eat as for, much. Right. So exercise for a few reasons, obviously exercise expends energy, which is awesome. Doing it earlier in the day, uh, kind of sets that, uh, precedent that, um, I don't know, you exercise first thing in the morning. I've noticed people tend to eat better throughout the day. It's kind of like I put in the effort in the morning. I'm gonna continue to, you know, push off the instant gratification of eating these foods and eat a little better. So that's why I've been kind of telling people like, hey, consider like getting out first thing in the morning, go for a walk, lift if you can, go for a run, doing something uh, to kind of, uh, it's kind of putting that discipline in place in the beginning of the day so that you have it the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Um, there's also, there's a bunch of research that just came out regarding, uh, energy expenditure. So activity tends to help regulate our appetite. And that was kind of known, but not really understood how it worked. But uh, working out helps us maintain a healthy weight slash lose weight because you expend energy, but also because it regulates the hormones that are involved with making you hungry, making you satiated and whatnot. It seems like we were uh we've uh, grown as a species to kind of be at like this energy level like most people are down here and they you know they walk from their car to work and that's pretty much it ideally we're here uh and finding that sweet spot for you is kind of key because too high you know uh, too much exercise obviously still not good uh, arguably more detrimental to not enough exercise um so kind of finding that sweet spot, I think, is key for maintaining a healthy body weight and sanity, quite honestly. Right. And eating be eating better foods and not eating junk food, you're not going to be as hungry as often because your body fuels mm -hmm. itself properly mm -hmm. instead of eating empty carbs, empty calories. You know, you, when you're eating good food, your body doesn't need to eat as much. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And speaking of your food, too, how do you, and I always, I mentioned this comment to you, I think before, is that I was really impressed when we first met you and learned about Fit AF, your pictures and the food are so well done. Like you have, your social media is top notch. Like your, <laughs> your, your email, your, your communication is, you're on it. And 
Well, thank you. How did you get to that point? Because not a lot of people <laughs> do that well, and it's it's really well done. Yeah, so I have to uh, give credit where it's due, and a lot of stuff on our website was uh, we work with Posture Interactive. I don't know, do you guys, I don't know, we might have discussed Posture. Uh, Tony Bartosi runs Posture. They're uh, social media, or sorry, they're not, they, I don't know their full, their umbrella term, but they do everything from website development to social media and stuff like that. So for us, uh, they help build the website put some content up there. They help us with the photos. I mean, amazing team of people. Tony, uh, Joey Zarcone is one of their designers. Jamie Anigan helps with uh, photography. Mm -hmm. um, it's great. So a lot of it is them. I will take some credit on social media that uh, after initially helping us with some branding and giving me kind of like parameters, like you know, colors and uh, designs and stuff like that. I've been able to take that and develop some social media content from there. Um, but I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm very, I, I, I think they did an amazing job and I really love kind of the look and feel of Fit AF. Mm -hmm. um, uh, thanks to them. And like, a, it, it, it's honestly something I'm very, I want to say proud, but proud uh, insinuates that it's just something I did. It's not, um, but I'm very happy with, uh, the whole vibe. Yeah, it's uh, your it's your brand, and it it's very clean, very good looking. And every week when we get those emails with the new with the new <laughs> meals on them, and yeah. it just it's always it's always perfect, always perfect, and looks amazing. Yeah, I want to eat every single bit of it. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's the point. <laughs> well, now you're saying, and, and we can we can test it. So you were saying how you have a wide range of food. I think probably some of the best things that I've had is the quinoa burger it's really good. and the italian marinated chicken is one of my favorites one of my it's favorites. funny those are like the last things i would have thought anyone would say i mean they're good uh <laughs> but, but I, I i mean that's I love, awesome i love them all but those, those yeah. i always tend to gravitate toward those because i think those are great yeah all your fajita yeah. bowls the steak and uh, sweet potato fries Mm -hmm. You know, the Mediterranean chicken's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. I've, I haven't had a bad meal. The Thai, the Thai, oh, uh, Thai meatballs. meatballs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love those. Who, so yeah. you, uh, let me ask you that as we're, as we're salivating here. <laughs> Who comes up with all of your recipes? <laughs> uh, it's a running joke in the kitchen that I come up with all the recipes so that, like, if somebody, if we get a compliment or something, uh, or I'll, I'll be back there in the kitchen and they're cooking something and I'll like have a taste. And I'll be like, oh, I love this recipe I created. And everyone kind of literally yeah. kind of gets pissed. Uh, <laughs> it started off as a funny joke and then I think they think I'm serious. Uh, I, I did come up with some recipes to begin with, uh, but more so recently it's been the chefs that I've had in there. Um, uh, Richie, uh, Richie and Ann are my two head chefs now. Uh, amazing freaking cooks and they run an amazing kitchen have really helped with uh, the recipes. Um, initially starting off, my mom's a dietitian and a really good cook. So she assisted me with some of the recipe development. I kind of got lucky. I, you know, I had good cooking experience, um, but I, I had uh, an arsenal of decent recipes to begin with, which helped, you know, me set the stage for Fit AF and uh, grow a little bit and then I hired you know some really great people Brooke uh, somebody named Brooke Dolan was one of my first chefs who you know did an amazing job and helped create a lot of the recipes that we still use today um, nice. so yeah it's I would say and to take some credit back I mean it, it's a group effort while they're uh, culinary based I'm more nutrition based so when we come up with new things it's like okay they might pitch an idea yeah, and then I I annoyingly come in and say, how do we make that healthy when they, <laughs> not that they want to throw butter and everything or not that butter's bad, but um, it's kind of finding that balance of, you know, health and flavor. And obviously healthy doesn't mean lack of flavor, I, but and if I'm being realistic, sometimes it does. Sometimes there are trade-offs with um, choosing something that's healthier in terms of taste and really looking into the balance and considering, okay, who's our client? What do they favor more? And what are my kind of uh, food uh, ethics maybe um, kind of all influence what we do. And 
because honestly, if it was up to me, like I'm fine literally eating some, I, I just love it, like a nice grass fed beef patty, a sweet potato and some roasted broccoli. And I'm very basic and could eat the same thing literally every day. Uh, that's not my client though. That's, you know, for the most part, our clients really like the healthy food, but they also want to eat something they enjoy. Um, right, and they right. don't want to eat the same thing every day. Right. So, so do you trying to put ourselves in their shoes and figuring out, okay, what do they want to see? Right. Um, and we're the same. The I same. lost audio. Uh oh. You guys are. Can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear you. Can hear you. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, can you hear me? Uh oh. How about now? Anything now? Uh, yeah. For some reason, my headset is not no. working. Can We're you, good. Yeah, can okay, you okay, cool. Yeah. My, so my next question with your with your food and stuff, do you offer, uh, do you do bulk uh, supplies, like big bags of, you know, uh, ground up cauliflower or anything like um, that? Or? We do some. We have um, bulk by the pound chicken and stuff like that. And honestly, it's, I did it there initially, honestly, because I saw other companies doing it. I haven't uh, built on that that much. It one, uh, it isn't utilized that often. People more tend to go for the meals, and I don't know. I, I truthfully, I just haven't uh, focused on that in a while. And we still have the offerings, uh, a couple of different types of chicken, some veggies, and stuff like that, which people could purchase. Um, but our efforts have been more so with the uh, the general meals, individual meals. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Some people well, like it. Oh yeah, we love it. It's it's like you said. It's it's done. For, everything's done for you. You just have to heat it up, right? And, and you you have your meal, and you give the sauces if it if it you know has it comes with some things come with sauce. Like the burger has uh, what the is that? Yeah, have, uh, like a cilantro aioli. Yeah, cilantro yeah. Mayo. Oh, so, so good. it's all done for you. Yeah, yeah, I like that right. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you have coming up? Anything, anything changing, anything new or what, what can, um, if somebody wants to kind of check you out, is there any kind of incentives or? Yeah. Um, so new stuff coming up. We'll have a, we'll, I mean, every few months we try to release a bunch of new menu items. So we're getting around that point. We'll, we'll have some new stuff. Um, other than that, uh, continually just figuring out how to grow. I'm going to be doing some more social media video stuff. Call it blogging. I don't want to say it's that, but it, more just like informational stuff. Not even like, hey, you're like here, buy our shit. But it's just because it's honestly, it's something I've always wanted to do. And I think I'd love to have the skill set to get behind a camera and be able to talk and um, get value and it's something that I'm really bad at right now so I'm curious to see Thank how you. I grow with it um, if somebody wants to check us out um, you mentioned it. that's funny I have to think of uh, uh, let's do first time customer 20% off um, if they use coupon code 11th element AF 11th element is fuck okay uh, <laughs> okay 11th element a f um and for people who are currently customers let's do a free additional meal um if so basically because the website's more not doesn't like that uh, as much but basically if they place an order um if they put in their order notes hey throw in one of these we'll do it use coupon code uh <laughs> I don't know. I, my creativity is not there. Um, uh, 11th element, uh, 12th element AF. <laughs> we'll do that. 12. Well, is that the number 12 or spelled out 12? Um, We're spell spelling it. it out. But as I was spelling it, I was like, it sounds like there's an F in there, but I don't think there is. <laughs> Anyways, I'll get the spelling right. There you um, go. So yes, uh, and I'll, we're not live, right? Because I still need to add those. No, we're not live. Okay. Um, yeah, so eleventh element spelled out eleventh, twenty percent off new customers. Twelfth uh, element AF uh, current customers get a free meal. Free meal, and that, and these are one time offers. Let's be clear, right? There's that's yeah, not a continual thing. One time mm -hmm. offer. 
great. And uh, if they just want to check you out, your your website, and just look at all your amazing pictures and uh, all that kind of stuff, where can they find you? Uh, our website's fitafnutrition.com, um, F-I-T-A-F nutrition.com, and social media, we're pretty much Facebook slash FitAF Nutrition. Um, Are you on Instagram? Yeah, I think on our Instagram is fita.f.nutrition. I'll find it and I'll put it in the notes. If anybody is is not is following this and isn't writing it down, I'll put all of your contact information in the post so that they know, along with these special details. Cool. Yeah. And then, and you're starting a vlog. Is that on YouTube? I I I think so. I think that's where I'm gonna like test it out on YouTube before I throw it on our uh, Instagram and stuff like that, just to kind of get some feedback to see uh what people think okay so we'll say if they, they start following you on like facebook or instagram they'll know when you start because i think these videos can be very inspirational and it's kind of goes all the way back to the beginning of our conversation with gary v is you're you're just you keep pumping out information because once you and because we do that we're having to do that all the time with this all of our services like mm -hmm. for the salt room, for example we have to explain to people and educate people on what it is and how it can help them. And you're doing the right. same thing with your meals. Just because it's chicken doesn't mean it's always good for you, but you're telling them, no, this is, this is why it's gonna help you. And this is how the, you know, the steps you have to take. So we totally get the mm -hmm. whole, just you gotta keep pumping out information and then people finally understand, oh, now I know what mm -hmm. the benefit is and, and why I could benefit from it. So you're very smart when you're, you say you're gonna start doing that. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think uh, vlog's probably not the right term because vlog insinuates like, oh, like selfie cam, I just woke up, like, what do I want <laughs> to do with that? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. <laughs> like you said, it's more, um, there's just so much shit in the internet, uh, people, different influencers spreading information regarding health and nutrition, that's, it's bad. Uh, and it's, I think the sad part is people follow it and either don't get results or they get shitty results or they even harm themselves because they're doing things that they just shouldn't be doing. And they're like, why is this not working? Because they're so convinced that this person they're following has the answers and it, it, it's sad. Um, so kind of helping people out with that is more or less my mission with, you know, giving the information straight and, and it's tough because the reason why people and businesses and brands do that half the time, it's well, one, it sells things. I mean, it's easy to, you know, make a headline like five foods that burn fat fast, like no foods going to burn fat fast. Like a, a diet or nutrition plan overall will help you lose fat, but you it, uh, saying a food is going to help you burn fat. It, it doesn't make sense. It really just doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, I said it's, it's a good a, headline. It's a combination of a lot right. of things. Right. So I think you have to have an aspect of like, it's obviously has to be interesting information. And I, I'm a fan, like the headline needs to be catchy. Not that any of my headlines will ever be something like that, but like you have to gain people's attention and then you kind of give them like, they think you give them what they need. So people come with what they want, which is uh, oftentimes a, a simple strategy they could implement when in reality, like, there's some simple strategies you could implement sure to start making progress totally um but more often than not it's changing behaviors and adopting new habits and stuff like that that's going to make the long-term success which is what people need but if you make a video like the five really hard habits that you need to adopt and change so that you live a life uh what whatever like no one's gonna click that nobody will click on that no uh, <laughs> um because it's it, it's tough uh it's tough because we think it's tough and uh there's a lot of again kind of like I, I really like um psychology and mindset and stuff like that it's just always been something i'm interested in so kind of adopting that into the informational videos we do is kind of my goal uh so yeah good luck, good luck. we look forward to watching them Thank good you. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so did we did we miss anything anything else that you I don't know, talk about? You. Anything else that you want to talk about today, Doran, that we maybe have missed? No, I just feel like this has been really one-sided. And I want to say that I loved being an 11th element. 
and every you know as much as you said you know your website's so nice and stuff i thank you but i mean your facility is absolutely beautiful oh I mean, thanks for, like it, it was just crazy getting to know you guys from uh before like we met at yoga fest and yeah, yeah. Both all this thing. I, I didn't really know what to expect and months later when i saw it, it was like whoa like this is what they were talking about and it was you know it was amazing yeah. it, it's uh thank you, you amazing yeah. business um so hopefully this all passes soon so you can get back in there but you guys are doing things regardless right now like this which is only helping you so i commend you for that and well, uh, thank you yeah we're we're uh, doing same thing as you we're doing videos uh behind the scenes not just here but about the spa and about the services and the salt room to be honest with you is we expect that to be gangbusters when we open back up because everybody right now is concerned with what respiratory, respiratory. health and right. respiratory conditions and that's exactly what that salt room is is for and and we actually have a lot of had customers in that had some pretty pretty serious things going on and they started using this salt room and then they're they're feeling better they're not having to use their inhalers anymore or cutting down on whatever medication and that's great because we always say this is not replacing your your medical doctor or your medication or anything like that but you everybody's gonna they're gonna feel better right and it's gonna help those conditions but everybody is different it's a case-by-case -case basis so we just we hope that um Everybody else feels the same way. We appreciate the kind words, and we just we want to get back open so we just can keep helping people yeah. naturally, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thanks. Anything else? Yeah. Cool. I appreciate talking to you, Jordan. Yeah, thanks for having me on. That's yeah, awesome. maybe when we have uh, we're gonna have a grand uh, a an opening yes. so, <laughs> of uh, a okay. special event, so you'll definitely be part of that, and uh, sure. maybe maybe we'll uh, arrange for people to taste some of your amazing food yep maybe we'll throw you in the float tank as our float tank model for that there you go <laughs> <laughs> all right well thanks jordan it was good to talk to you all right you guys too all right take care